Well, well hello, hello everyone. everyone. Welcome, Welcome to Play, to play frame. frame. How long, How long do we keep do doing, we this? doing this? <laughs> <laughs> still, still practicing <laughs> the duo intro. Yeah, we'll get there. Give us some time. We'll get there. Or abandon the idea. One of the two. I mean, yes, that's also possible. One of these things might happen. So this does definitely look like our oh, old yeah. room. Um, it, it's definitely our old room. Our, like, teenage bed. And obviously we did, like, a martial art of some kind. Yeah. And Well, that's... Actually, that's a good thing to think on. How much of this is still ours? Like, did... Do we have a sibling? Did... Or did they, uh... There are four people in this photo. Yeah. So we might have a sibling. But... Like, these are our old toys. That's our old artwork. Our old radio. Our new button box. Oh, yeah, oh, true. Sewing kit. Sorry. It's a uh, Dansk cookie sewing kit. Yeah. Although, like, the things over to the right side of the room, on the right side, do not look like our things. So What's I'm thinking... the right? Uh, this, these things? Uh, or further. Like that changeling's wall thing, the no life here poster, the martial arts belts, like... And the I, horse... And the horse, I mean, like, this might these, be sibling stuff. But these could also be teenagehood. When we were here before, it was, like, 97. True, true. It was way younger. We also, like, it looks like our artwork developed, and we know we're an artist. Yeah. So our artwork developed. We got first place on something in high school, probably. This is our childhood artwork, our childhood trophies. I think this is just our stuff. Yeah, I suppose you might be right. Our Tamadachi! Our dreidel! Oh, yeah. Listen, some things need to be kept track of. Yes. I am glad that some of the old stuffies are around. And why did we take down the Lisa Frank poster? Excuse me. Yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. That should have stayed. Yes. What a beautiful sticker. I don't remember what we're meant to do with stickers, but... I guess we can decorate our little scrapbook with them if we want. They're sort of just collectibles, mm. I think. Our, okay, actually, let's open this box and get some of this stuff out so that the bed is clear and then we can use it for a staging area. I do take it from the fact that we are home, moving back home, at least temporarily, that uh, things did not work out. Yeah, that would be my take as well. It has been two years. It's not as dire as we were worried it might be. True, true. We did give our best effort. There might also be some significance to the fact that when we pinned up that last photo, one of the pins is definitely... Straight through the face of the yeah. person in the photo? Yeah, I was just wondering about like that. The other one is clearly us with our old roommates. Yeah, that's very much... I'm, that was on the fridge before, in the old place, mm -hmm. and did not have a pin through the face of the person. Is this the Changelings books? Is it a book series and oh, a movie maybe so. series? Could be. Or we're just into fantasy. Ah, That does no. seem to be what we're into. Accurate. Do-do-do... No, Carrie, why? The bumpers are for rooms. The buttons are for rotating. Yes. You would think I could get this down straight. Although, in fairness, I feel like bumpers for rotate is a pretty common convention for a lot of controls, too. I feel like for gamepad, that might have been... That'd be a case where I would probably have advised them use the bumpers for room changing or, like, the triggers for room changing. One of them should be for rotating. Yeah. Because uh, that feels more intuitive to me anyway than using. But both bumpers... Oh. Wait. Trigger? Left. Trigger right. Bumper left. Bumper right. Okay, so bumpers and triggers do the same thing? Yeah. Okay, well, like, which... Good that they're using them, but I... They could have used like, one for one thing and one for another. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking. Yeah. I'm inclined to agree, but I didn't make the game, and I wouldn't be able to make the game, so 
you know. I sure couldn't have done this. True. So I won't be too fussy about it. Not without putting a whole lot of knives under pillows. It's where they go. It's absolutely not where they go. It's where they go, though. <laughs> Diploma under. <laughs> now it's just sort of used to that life. Right. <laughs> I feel like probably I can set it here for now. Move yeah. my childhood artwork somewhere else. Anywhere else? Childhood artwork? We'll move that down. And I think my diploma can go over here. There you go. I don't want to take down my other posters. They look good. Yeah. You know? I'm assuming we're living here probably not as a long-term measure. Is my assumption. I think that's the hope, at least. Keep these close to our bed, since we usually do that. Oh, you know, the sewing machine might be, like, a parent's Yeah, that's kind of what I like. This, instead of ours. This doesn't seem like it's set up as a bedroom necessarily now it's more used as just sort of like a it's like the kids old room but that they sort of like have other uses for now mm -hmm. that they've cleared space for and like are letting us more crash space. in until we uh kind of get back on our feet find our find our new place to go now that we've moved out they sure cleared more space than our partner did yep just saying just saying. They've done a much better job on that front. I guess. At showing they care. And also, like, and they... Good parents. Had stuff that, like, was ours still in here that they... Didn't throw out. Weren't, like, eager to replace with their own things. And their parents. Yeah. So, like, I expect a lot of parents are that way. <laughs> yeah. And would be sentimental. But still, it's, it's a diff definite difference in feeling. My parents finally moved out of the house that I last lived in with them a few years back and when they moved they still took stuff of mine that I'd had from childhood like it was very kind of them to keep my stuff around as much as they did yeah I mean, and it makes sense like that parents would have as much nostalgia if not more around like our childhood things than we do as opposed to somebody who were moving in with <laughs> yeah I suppose but still it definitely feels more welcoming here in this place very much can I finally put it under my desk yay Will you let me do this come on let me tuck it in the corner and rotate it there we go under the desk is not where feet go that's for stuff it's gonna fight me on that it probably will yes it's gonna be wrong when it does Hmm. Pretty. Oh, huh. that was on his side. Oh, yeah. And maybe we gave that to them. That could be. Or it could be something they gave to us, or we stole it. And it's ours <laughs> we now. We stole it. It's ours. The little chicks are back, including the little eggshell chick. Excellent. Excellent, even. Hot water bottle, yes. Maybe our bug friend really liked the desk thing since they were living next to it for so long and decided they wanted to keep it. Oh, that could be. Yeah, let's give the bug friend the desk thing. There you go. Wait, where were you? I didn't have all of these chicks before. Might have acquired a new one. I might have acquired a new one. Maybe I did have all those chicks before. Maybe I'm just misremembering. I wish I could simply rotate the whole stack to vertical. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe they just can't go vertical. Hmm. I do appreciate that you can stack books and then move them as one. Yeah, clothing as well. It makes a big difference. Maybe they can't go vertical in there. Maybe it's like, nope, that's not a shelf for things to go on vertically. Burp, burp, burp. Remove this. Huh, up there's here. a little more space up top too. There is. And I am tall. 
I'm not tall. I can stand on the chair, though. I might be tall, I guess. Could be tall. Potentially tall. That book is... No. That book is not the right size for the way it's stacked. This book is smaller than the blue book. The ukulele book. There. That's better. There you go. Not perfect, though, because the series isn't stacked together. You're just playing Tower of Hanoi with books now. Look, it says one, two, three. Green, That's true. Pink, that does look blue. like a set that goes together. Yeah. Yeah. I am kind of playing Towers of Hanoi with books. A little bit. It's a good game. Nice and stacked. Nice and stacked. Unstacking. The video game. Yeah. Put these journals, I think. Did we have the think... little dragon stuffy at some point, or is that one? Not th that, that is a newer edition, and it's adorable. It's very cute. I very much love them. It's Spyro. It's not Spyro. It is not Spyro. Very cute, though. My sister used to play Spyro every chance she got in, like, Best Buy and stuff. We didn't have console at home, but she really liked it. Spyro and would play that. At She liked it just because it was Dragon. I expect a lot of people. There's several categories of game. I feel like Echo the Dolphin probably also got a lot of people for similar reasons, like, hey, it's a dolphin. Yeah, I think that's probably fair. It's definitely not for... Everything else about Echo the Dolphin is bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> and It's it got is, good music, right? It has good music. Uh, it is very pretty. Mm -hmm. The introduction where you're just kind of swimming around and jumping and breaching and, uh, like, being a dolphin. Excellent. Yeah. Chef kiss. Let me pull up a quick wiki summary of the events which would transpire further in an Echo the Dolphin, just to give you a little bit of a taste of what you've been missing out on if you've not played any further. Okay, but first, speaking of taste, look at this. We've got a beautiful bowl of Oof. dried fruit. It's not dried fruit, it's potpourri. Yeah. Eat the leaves. Eat the leaves and flowers. I feel like I encountered a lot of potpourri as a kid, and I don't anymore. Maybe that's just because I was, it, like... It's a grandma thing. I guess so, like, yeah. for our generation, it's a thing that our grandmas had. For me, at least. Maybe not for you. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, no, and I feel like, like, growing up in the sort of suburban and rural south, like, a, a lot of... I can see, like, a lot of houses around there just sort of, like, that being a decorative element. It does feel like a previous generation sort of a decorative touch, which... Is like if I just was just encountering it for the first time, I would legit think it's like, all right, that's pretty like, that's a nice idea. It smells nice and looks nice. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not like opposed to it. I think I saw it in like old people houses, and then also in like stores where you would walk past a bag of potpourri, and it would just be like, wow, that's a bag of dried, smelly stuff. Yeah. Cool. And I mean, accurate. Quibi, do you want out? Cat wants out. She was sitting on my lap and being very comfortable and happy, but now she's ready to be out. I will door. Daniel will door. Go on, Gwenny. Cat will out. Oops. Okay. I thought she would sit pretty contented, like, for the whole episode. I honestly did, too. What is this? Is this a game? In previous... That's a new item, right? I don't recognize it. Oh, that's a that's a um little uh like back patch for when you've like strained Hurt something. Your back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Because we're getting older. Yeah, we are. You're not wrong. Um I thought it might be in previous places we've lived, we've had different like kinds of board games that have looked like that. Mm, yeah. So I thought maybe that's what it was. Okay, Echo the Dolphin. Right, yes. I did promise this and then I should I should deliver. Mm-hmm. 
I'm now very excited because I want to hear all about the fun, fun adventures you can get up to as a dolphin in Echo the Dolphin. Yeah, like, because obviously, like, all right, even if you've not, if you, even if you'd only just sort of seen Spire of the Dragon and Echo the Dolphin on shelves, you would mm-hmm. assume, like, okay, well, I'm sure there's a little bit more to the game and the story than just you're a dragon or a or a dolphin. Like, there's going to be some sort of little story or some little uh, adventures or uh, whatever. Yeah. And with Spire of the Dragon, sure, like, go collect all the gems, like, free all the dragon. Just something that you'd sort of expect. Something sort of a very cartoon sort of thing. Just a cute little thing. Sure. The plot opens with Echo, a bottlenose dolphin, as he and his pod are swimming in their home bay. A pod mate challenges Echo to a game to see how high he can jump into the air. When he's in the air, a giant water spout forms and sucks up all marine life in the bay, except Echo, leaving him alone in the bay. Well, that's because he jumped in the air. Yep. Yeah, and jumped in the air. Shouldn't do that. It's not where you belong. Yeah, that's not where dolphins go. No, that's the bird's turf. (laughs) Upon leaving the bay, Echo swims around, meeting other marine life, including other dolphins, who tell him that they have felt the storm and the entire ocean is in chaos. An orca that Echo encounters tells him to travel to the Arctic to meet the Big Blue, an ancient blue whale, revered by marine life for his age and wisdom, who might be able to help Echo on his journey. So, so far, like, it's all right, standard enough. It's an adventure. It's oceans. It's like maybe a little bit more like mystical than you kind of expected in vibe. But all right. All right. We're like, we're rolling with it. Wait, we got the whole house access now. No, we don't. No? We only have our bedroom and the washroom. Ah, uh, we're not allowed in the rest of the house. Yeah, they won't let us in the rest of the house. We make too much of a mess. Mm. No. Also, it does not like my placement of things. Gotta have room for your feet. I disagree. It's just looking out for your posture. My feet go on the chair, and my posture is fine, thank you. Your little back pat heating patches disagree. Listen! <laughs> Well, then, it's because I'm not sitting cross-legged on my chair. Because ah, I see. me, Carrie, sits cross-legged on my chair all the time, and my posture is not good. But it's fine, and and my... It's fine. Mm. Um, I don't have to use a back thingy. Also, the other thing it does not like is this picture being up. That's actually pretty great. Where's the trash can? Oh, you want it to go in the trash can, huh? I think that's best. We have Uh, terrible news. (laughs) What we can do, though... Feed it to our bug. Feed it to our bug. Uh, I was going to put it in the trash can. Like, in the little trash area. Oh, yeah. Won't let me. We can, like, tuck it away. Yeah, we'll put it in the cupboard. I like that. Yeah. There you go. That's really telling. Yep. I, that's cool. And also healthier, honestly. If this is a person we're upset with and wanting to put out, like, leave behind in our life, keeping up a photo of them, but with a pin through them is probably not just going to help us with the moving on process. Yeah, that's probably true. So... Do you want to finish Echo the Dolphin? We'll keep going on that one. There's, trust me, we've just begun on oh. the Echo the Dolphin saga. Oh, Not no. to spoil Echo the Dolphin or anything, but it's a 25, 30 year old game. How old is this game? Ancient. 20 year old game. Man. No, 30. 30 year old game. Good golly. Ah. Sorry. I was trying to reorganize things just a little bit. That's true. It's not like. Everything's on the desk, but it's there's a lot of stuff up there. It's going to be hard to yeah hard to work on that desk. Can I set these on the... I can't. Okay, okay, that's fine. I wanted the journal and the iPod and the DS all near the bed. Yeah, it's kind like of bedside relaxing. table right now. So, yeah, yeah. But they're not fitting well with the, like... I think that's as good as it's going to get, though. I think so. Like, I think that's you've made the best of the situation you got. It's a very tight space. Ready for the next one? Yeah. See where we go from here? Oh, a little home-cooked meal. That's very sweet. It's June of 2012, so like a year a year and a half-ish. Yeah, yeah. Longer than I expected. I mean, honestly. 2013. Hmm. Ooh. New spot. It's just ours. I think this is just our spot. 
it's just for us and we've got a little study and a bedroom, a bathroom, a living room, and a kitchen. I bet we're allowed in all those. I bet we are. Ah, our stuff. This is oddly cathartic for just having like, just sort of a... Uh... <laughs> Sort of speed run through yes. the process of several moves that like required constraining yourself into into a, a tighter space. Now being able to like, oh, okay, finally a space where I can like have room for my stuff. Yay. Yeah, that, that is really nice. It feels really good, right? Yeah. I have a little window ledge up here. That's a very very good spot for decorations. Right, I've been to Holland now. Ooh, good for us. Oh, Amsterdam, Holland. I don't know. Who has windmills? True. We hadn't really gotten to add to that collection of places traveled for a little bit. We hadn't. It's true. Our controllers. Yay. Will, yes. They didn't get to keep a controller. We got a, a, a Wii. We did. A switch. A Wii. Mm, I shouldn't put it in there. You would get mad. It wouldn't ventilate <clears throat> properly. Well. You're all about making sure that consoles can ventilate. That's true. You care a lot about it. That is my religion. To the detriment of our aesthetic. Yeah. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Some of these things run... Cheeky chick. Oddly warm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Especially if you stick them in a closed box with a glass door on it. Yeah. Like to be fair, the Wii's probably fine. <laughs> what is, no, I mean, I guess that thing could run pretty like for when certain games were really pushing it. What is that? Is that like an oven mitt? Or like wall art? Oh, it's wall, wall art. art. Oh, okay. Oh, it's like a, it's like a hand mandala, a symbol from a culture that I'm not familiar with. Cool. Enough to say more than that. Uh, we do very much have two bean bags instead of actual um, things for sitting on. We're gonna need those back patches. Yeah, yeah, but like it makes sense that we've also got that sort of thing. Of course, we don't have a lot of furniture. We've been like Daniel. Yeah. Oh, finally, a place to put that thing. It's about time. <laughs> I'm so happy. It's very cute. I'm so happy. We were overdue to get that. Right. Okay, you got more echo for me? Is that what you're working on? Ah, I'm glad that you asked. So... I'm deeply invested in the lore. Arriving in the Arctic after a long journey, Echo finds Big Blue, who says the storms occur every 500 years, and though Big Blue doesn't know what causes them, he suggests that Echo should seek the Asterite, the oldest life form on Earth. Acting on this advice, Echo leaves the Arctic and travels to a deep sea cavern where he finds the Asterite. To his dismay, though, the Asterite would otherwise have the power to aid Echo. It currently can't as some orbs from its body were lost a long time ago. Oh no. The asteroid tells Echo to go to the sunken ruins of the city of Atlantis where he can use the time machine left behind by the Atlanteans to retrieve the orbs. Now, Echo travels to the sunken city of Atlantis where he discovers an ancient library filled with glyphs, giant crystals filled with information. From the library, Echo learns from the, uh, about the source of the storms. An alien race known as the Vortex lost the ability to produce food on I'm their sorry. planet. What? alien race known as the Vortex lost the ability to produce food on their planet. Oh, right. According to texts, when the planets align once every 500 years, the Vortex used their technology to harvest from the waters of Earth. The Atlanteans fought a long war with the Vortex, which only ended when the Vortex fired a beam at Atlantis, sending the city into the depths of the ocean. Learning this, Echo activates the time machine, travels 555 million years into Earth's past. What? While Echo is in the past, he learns an ancient song to communicate with the Pteranodon. Echo locates the asteroid in the past, but is immediately attacked by it. Forced into battle, he manages to dislodge a globe from it, and this opens a time portal. He is sent back into the present this way. After receiving or, uh, after receiving the globe, the asteroid grants him the power to turn his sonar into a deadly weapon against the Vortex, as well as... What? the ability to breathe underwater and to slowly regenerate lost health. The asteroid instructs him to use the time machine to travel back in time to the hour of the harvest. This time, he manages to be sucked into the water spout with his pod. Echo is sent flying through outer space to a giant tube-like machine. Making his way through the construct, Echo arrives on the planet Vortex, engaging aliens in combat. He makes his way to the Vortex Queen and engages her in a fight. When the Queen is defeated, she spits out Ecto's pod, and the dolphins make their collective escape back to Earth, where they can just be dolphins again, I presume. What? the heck that's just the first game 
Okay. Yeah, that's way different than like, oh, look, I'm a little dolphin. I'm swimming around the ocean dolphin yeah. style. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you could be forgiven for only experiencing that part of Echo because um, the game gets quite hard immediately. <laughs> oh. So as soon as you're done flipping around being a dolphin, it immediately puts up a, you must be this gamer to enter. And uh, oh. most of us were like, actually, I was just kind of like pretty good with flipping around as a dolphin. So I'm going to reset. I'm just going to go back and be dolphin again. Mm -hmm. Man. That is intense. Well, now more of us know that. And that's good. Yeah. Y'all should, I think Dan streamed it on his channel once. Oh, if you want to go on that journey of discovery with him uh, and see him encounter all that for the first time, uh, by, I'll be here, I'll link to it. Here you go. Yeah. Go enjoy. He's got like a VODs channel, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, also, important detail that you missed while we were talking about Echo the Dolphin. Yes. Our minifig has been painted. Oh, yeah. That's right. That one used to be just all gray. Yep. It used to be pewter, and now it's painted. I'm happy. Oh, yay. All right. I, I've laid things out because the three of these are a series. Like the three of these are a series oh, yeah. and I was like trying to figure out which one came first and stuff but I I have given up now there on you figuring go. out which came first <laughs> oh those are source books I think oh for like TTRPGs yeah yeah gotcha for whatever tabletop game it is we're playing I still think that that looks suspiciously like Thomas the Tank Engine. Three wolf mooning. As a centipede of sorts. I I mean... Listen, it's a good... <laughs> it's a good role-playing game. <laughs> sure. Umbrella stand. Ooh, fancy. We've got a cane now. Oh, cool. We really shouldn't be using the beanbags. No. If we have mobility issues, those are not ideal for beanbag users. No, beanbags aren't ideal for people with mobility issues, I would think. I think we could just stop at beanbags aren't ideal. <laughs> like, I enjoy a beanbag from time to time. They're more of a child's play space, if you get right down to it. Like, they can be comfy and fun in the right circumstances, but... It's... It is the furniture equivalent of, like, a fun place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live there. Yeah. Young, spry individuals can make use of a beanbag, but the rest of us, well, we've got joints to think about. It does track that we don't... Oh, we that's a very cute addition. Ones. I like it. We are getting new ones. Collection. It does track we wouldn't have furniture, though. Like we've moved so much we've moved so much but always so like moved into places that already had like furniture and roommates and stuff like that we've not had much reason to acquire our own furniture yeah that is you're not wrong Let's see mama chicken and then we'll go super underdone mm. the evolution of hen slightly underdone Rare. Medium. And well done? Or burnt. I think well done. I think it's... It's a good arrangement. Almost. Gotta get them lined up. Perfect. Gotta, gotta, gotta line them up just right. There you go. And then... These things are probably for our bedroom. I've got a couple more books that I can probably fit in here. And I'm sure there will be more. Oh, yeah. So let's go to our bedroom. Frog, actually, I'm glad you've gotten to join us in actually, our new living space. Frog, you're going to chill up here because I think there will be more. And Piggy is the one who's been staying on our bed. Yep. They have dips. We've got more shelves. We've got so much space here. Yeah, if anything, we're going to be, like, very spread out with all the stuff we have in here. Right. 
old habits sort of forced us to pack everything onto that one shelf in that one room we'd started in. You're not wrong. Rotate button. Ah, a journal. Stop, Carrie. Stop. Rotate with the rotate button. <laughs> Oh, You're just enjoying seeing all these rooms in your new place. You're excited. Sure, that's what's happening. That's totally what's happening. That might be a controls option we can actually change. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. But you might be right. After this episode, I'll look and see if there's anything we can change with the key bindings. <gasps> it opens so much. It do. That's very relatable. <laughs> yep. I feel like our progression from dorm living to adult living has been one of slowly having fewer and fewer of the sort of like plastic bin shelf type things that we're using on the regular, but never fully getting rid of all of them ever. Yeah, mine are all currently living underneath my desk where they're holding stuff, like craft project stuff. Yeah. I've got my reasons. I'll get rid of them when I don't need them anymore. Well, I mean, they're, yeah, they're they're Useful. quite good for storing various types of things. Yeah. There's an era of your life where they're probably like your chest of drawers that's holding all your clothes. In this particular instance for our character, yeah. I think so. I think you're right. If you look out the window, mm -hmm. there's a bus stop. Oh, yeah. We've got good walkability here. That's always nice. And now we've got a nice clear bed for being able to put stuff. Yes. All right. Journal can go in the drawer. No, cannot? I think it can. It's just... Drawer won't close now. There. There you go. Fussy. Fussy drawer. And then the well, it does look old. DS, this is true. And the iPod. Our old-timey alarm clock from our child, uh, childhood room. Let's yeah, see. where do photos live? For now, on that shelf. Office kind of makes a lot of sense, actually. A little candle. Oh, that's nice. A uh, little candle. Uh, not candle holder. Uh... You put the candle in the inside, and then oh. you put smelly stuff on the top, and you don't have to have a smelly can scented candle. You can still make the smelly scent of whatever you put in the top. I'm not making words good. Not in entirely, but I... And honestly, it doesn't help that I'm distracted by the fact that it just looks like sort of a... Sorry, I, see, I see sort of a face with sort of an open mouth like... ah. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a breaching narwhal that has a bowl for a nose instead of the horn. <laughs> so they have these things that let you put um, like scented candle wax, uh -huh. like little wax beads or whatever okay. in the top here. And then you can use an unscented candle to heat the beads. Ah. Uh. And it, sm it has the effect of a scented candle, but it lets you, I don't know, do it different. You've now tapped out the knowledge that I have on scented candle warmers. Gotcha. Well, that's more than I had. So I'm smart, is what you're saying. Yes. Very smart. Still got our shirt. Wait, what does that one look like? One, up, 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 up. Ah. It's a D20. Yeah. I'm sure I noticed that at some point in the past that I had forgotten. How oh, good we stole some of the old partner's hangers. Oh, we did. You're not wrong. Got our nice fancy dress. We're still got our yoga mat. Still got our favorite color. Yeah. We are still using like the hanger that 
didn't get taken off of the clothes from Walmart, though. Yeah, that one definitely does look like that was a from a store. It gets even clear. Mm -hmm. We've upped our collection of bras, which is probably smart because having a nude and a white is wise when it comes to having it look seamless and not show through thinner tops. I am glad to not have to deal with bras. Yeah. They seem like, well, not only just because they seem like a whole other element of clothing that you have to just be sort of fussing over and having all the right ones and all that, but it, yeah. from, to hear, like, folks who need them describe them, they are, they never fit comfortably. Mm -hmm. And like finding one that does fit comfortably is like a weird outlier miracle. Lots of people have a range of experience with bras. A lot of people I know hate them and are the kind of people who would be like, take off as soon as they get home, as soon as they possibly can, as mm -hmm. soon as it's appropriate. I've never found them that uncomfortable and in fact feel more comfortable with them on because of how bodies work and back to that whole posture thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, like, and it makes sense too. Like it's in the same way that different people have different, like find different styles of underwear comfortable and different, yeah. like people probably eventually find like a kind of sock or whatever else. That's like, Ooh, I find this very comfortable. This is the kind of right. like socks that I want to wear all the time. But like, yeah, it, it just seems like, uh, I did eventually find a particular brand of bras that have like a lining to them mm -hmm. that is slightly fuzzy. And I'm a very tactilely based person. So, I like things that feel soft and fuzzy, and it's like a little felted edge to the parts that contact your skin, and that makes a huge difference. I have, since finding that, I've tried other bras that don't have that, and I want to claw my skin off. Well, that's like the, and that's the thing that I assume me, like makes it to where so many of them can be uncomfortable, like the fact that they are an element of clothing that might have to require like a wire or some like and other types of things that could get easily uncomfortable if it's not something that fits you very well. I think that the base level of discomfort from them is that you just have a tight band around your torso all yeah. the time. Yeah. Like if it's not tight enough, it's not working. If it's too tight, it's super uncomfortable and it's hard to get the balance mm -hmm. of comfort and functionality there. Yeah, it feels like there's a lot of different aspects of a bra that could, for any given person, make yeah. it uncomfortable. Like, you you need several different variables of it to all come together and, like, work and be the right fit for you in order for it to be an ideal, comfortable fit. And the sizing system that they have in the States is bizarre and confusing. Mm. And I actually found a post of all things on Reddit that massively changed my understanding of how to even figure out sizing um, that was super duper helpful. Otherwise, you're going off of what the lady at JCPenney said when your mom took you in at 13 to get your first bra sizing done. Mm. And ha, I knew we were gay. <laughs> Look at our rainbow socks. Yes. Just took us a little while to figure it out. Yeah. Maybe that's why we left. Could be. Maybe we realized. It's like after just two years living with that person, and we were like, you know, just being gay will be easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I liked it better with the roommates, with the girlfriend. Yeah. Um, but yeah, bra sizing is ridiculously difficult to do and, like, get done well. And it's frustrating and embarrassing when you're a kid and like awkward and so figuring out actually how to get sizing done or to do it yourself is a huge bonus that makes sense we do still have our matching underwear and pant and bra so that's yeah. nice priorities you find your favorite things. Yep. Right, they don't work that way. 
And we also always have at least like four sets of socks or two sets of socks that match. Oh, yeah. Because I always get to make a nice pattern. That is true. This makes me happy. I think this is probably art supplies. That would be my guess. I think it's going to sit in here for now. Uh, jeans, sweater, PJs. Won't go next to it. We'll go next to it. There you go. Um, I do have hangers enough for these two tops. Good. And for the sweater. Good, good. Heck yes. Boy, nice this having is, space. Yeah. So nice. It's funny. We've even just in this virtual, in this virtual context, gone on a whole journey from like, how nice is it to like have like just enough sp stuff to kind of fit in and put everything kind of where it goes all nice and neat and just sort of <laughs> tidy <to laughs> and tidy like, and, and more like a, a little bit more minimalist to, to being like finally a place with some space for our stuff <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> it's a very realistic speed run of moving around over the years yeah I'm sorry that our current place doesn't have more space eh, it's all right well, that's I mean that's also the thing with moving around you most likely until I guess you just literally get to a point where you can and choose to build a place for yourself that is exactly what you want. Uh, like any given place you move is probably trading off some, on trading off on something. Yeah. There will be something about a previous place that you liked a little better. But hopefully the new place has lots of new things that you like even more. The thing I love about the place we are currently in is the finishing style. Yeah. Is so like bright and clean that I actually have an e a far a substantially easier time keeping this place clean because I'm inspired by the vibe compared to where we were in Seattle I, I kind of feel the same actually like there is something about kind of like the the like the look of the place that aesthetic. looks yeah like newer and cleaner and I, I feel like I, I've lived in places that are older and that may have like kind of a cozier, older vibe about yeah, them in that way, but it... Not even like a bad vibe. It's not like, it's not like an unpleasant space to be in or whatever. Yeah, they're like very comfy, but it is also, yeah, the kind of space that I feel less like, uh, even at its cleanest, it doesn't look as clean as sort of like as this place might. Yeah. And it, it kind of, it makes me bummed for eventually having to look for a new place whenever we do but well, at it, least we know that this is effective this works for us this yeah, is like, helpful uh, like sure it's possible that in moving in the future we'll like not have a place that is like this but in moving here we've now realized oh this is a thing we like actually so yeah when moving in the future it's a thing that we'll actually know to have on our radar as something that we know we like mm -hmm. and i knew i liked the look of this place when we we're checking it out, but... I do like the look of it. I didn't know how much of a difference it would make in my ability to function. Yeah. I've been surprised by that in a pleasant way. Oh, we've changed our the style of pads we buy. Oh, yeah. Honestly, just get a good fabric... set of fabric reusable menstrual pads. Like... Don't keep throwing away money on stuff that's just going to land in a landfill. I'll take your word for it. I don't feel like I have room to weigh in on this one. Fair. But I believe you. I <laughs> have my preferences for menstrual products. And I absolutely would as well. And I think I'm right. Had I need to use them. Yeah. I definitely am the sort of person who like finds my preferred brand or style of thing and very... like. I feel much happier and more comfortable, and I've kind of like found my things that I like using and my go-tos. Yeah. And I think that those are a valuable and worthwhile thing to invest in. But that's my personal take. Other people may have other opinions that they're completely entitled to. 
Wait, is there a towel bar? No, there's a towel hook, though. Haha. -ha. A couple towel hooks. Hand towel. Very good. Um, okay. Probably some of the medicine stuff. Are those drawers as metal there? as they look? One of them looks rusty. That's what I was about to say. Like, in a bathroom, like... Nice rustic look, but rust is kind of the operative word in this case. I feel like yeah. this thing is going to get harder and harder to open with time. <laughs> right? Let's see if that drawer even opens. It does. Okay. It's a good thing you're living alone because that's also going to be allowed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that... <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like getting that open has to sound like opening a hatch on like a submarine. Do you remember the old wooden desks we had? Yes. I had a drawer on mine that sounded like Chewbacca when I opened it. <laughs> I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> I can't do a good oh, wow. Chewbacca, but my drawer could. Boy, your drawer really did a good impression. It was amazing. I'd forgotten about that. Come on, pick up, move over. We've actually also moved into a space that it's with enough space to where if we had to make space for someone else in our life, we totally could. In this place? Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's great. Which is really nice. It's a nice place to be. Mm -hmm. Like, also, if we made space or if we, we were moving in with someone else, maybe, maybe we could afford some place that was a little nicer. Yeah. A little less generally run down. Yeah, I should clarify, we're talking about the one in game again. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. <laughs> we started talking we about our actual space. so much space. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can't. I can't. Daniel. Daniel, do you see this? Look at all this space for stuff. Activities. And stuff. And Wait, I've lost track of which place we're talking about now. Oh, I'm really excited to find a behind the mirror yeah. area to keep some of our stuff that would normally go on the counter. Definitely. It's interesting. Like our, our current apartment has, or our current real life apartment has, is amazing for having like lots of little drawers and cabinets and even like the kitchen is huge compared to what we've had in the past. Yeah, and it's not even just the space of it. It's it's also like that there are like lots of cabinets that also within them have like drawers and further cabinets. Like, like there's the a lot of the place kind of like compacts nicely yeah. uh, and there's lots of places to store stuff. And I, I'm finding that interesting, like kind of in keeping well here, like a, a simpler stripped down version of that is okay your bathroom has one of these behind the mirror uh little shelves which is very helpful for being able to keep the like countertop area a little tidier yeah how much stuff do you put in there versus keeping on your counter for easy access and use because i want to like the part of me that wants everything to be tidy wants to stuff as much as i can into that little thing but if i'm having to multiple times a day reach behind the mirror to grab a thing to get it out to actually use it that's usually the kind of like enough of a point of friction that i will decide that i want to just you know i'm just leaving this on the counter where i can reach it easy have you seen what's in my cabinet in we have two two washrooms so mm -hmm. have you seen what's in the cabinet behind my mirror in my washroom i guess i haven't checked in a bit but i imagine it's pretty full looking yeah yeah. I need to par down some, <laughs> I think. It's very full looking. Look at our cute little mugs. It's quite they're cute. Cute. They're they're very cute. They're very cute little mugs. Sometimes you don't want a lot of coffee. You do want some coffee, but you don't want like a lot. When what? Sometimes a little cup of coffee is quite nice. A, it's not a, like a project. Why what I don't understand. You're going to have to run that by me again. Sometimes you want... What? A small amount of coffee. That doesn't sound right. No, no, I can I can assure you. No, no. That sounds wrong. But like, sometimes it's really great. Mm-mm. 
Disagree. Sometimes I do want a whole big mug of coffee to be sipping at. Sometimes, though. Always. A nice little mug with a little bit of coffee. Always a huge mug full of coffee. An egg timer. It doesn't rotate. It does not. Or if it does, it, you can't tell. Oh! I guess your house, your rules, but... Come on. Why did they let me at first when I was young? And I don't they think won't let they never now. ever let you put a knife under your pillow. They absolutely did. You put did. scissors under your pillow briefly, and then the game said, ha ha, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> no. They never I let totally... you put a knife under your pillow. <laughs> I thought they did. I thought they did in, like, the dorm room. I don't think, like, we definitely joked about it then. I think they stopped you then, too, but... Oh. I don't remember well enough, though. Killjoys. Unfair. Maybe we left our last partner because all they had was salt and pepper, and we were embarrassed by how little they had for seasonings. I do definitely feel like if I, like... <laughs> I can't really think of any reason that I would have for living on my own, but if I did, my I would really have, there's several aspects of life and like <laughs> stuff ownership that I would have to brush up on quickly because I've never had an occasion where I had to know it and seasonings is definitely one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you think that salt and pepper were the only seasonings we had? Well, no. Well, it's part of it because it's like I didn't really ever learn cooking to any sure. like great, to uh, like any great extent, and I like you and I got married like quite young. You're like quite young, so yeah. You were the one who knew more cooking and like uh, got us like all equipped with various spices and such. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, between having never really, like, lived on my own as an adult and never really gotten into cooking, my knowledge on some of those basic supplies is quite limited. More limited than it should be. I, I don't want to stereotype our former partner too much, but it's super duper white to be like, salt and pepper are all the spices you need. Yeah, yeah. It's like super duper. A again, we're talking about in game of... partner again on this one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling in the, like we need to keep clarifying just because someone's going to get confused. <laughs> oh, well, when I say our former, I guess there is room for people to interpret that as like you and I having a partner that we right. were yeah. with. Yeah. Which is like okay. fine. I'm just trying to be like, for the sake of clarity, not because I'm worried about misunderstanding. Just yeah, to... no, you're right. That's a good point. I hadn't considered that it might sound like I was talking about. You and I having like another partner. I, I, and I, <laughs> the times I'm bringing it up are the times when you start talking, and for the first phrase of a sentence, I'm going like, "What are you talking?" Right in game. <laughs> <laughs> You're like our partner. Who do you mean? We've we have leveled up our cutting board substantially. Oh boy, we have. One plus two equals koala. koala. Who is doing their best impression of a three? To be fair. So, yeah, it is it is a kind of weird thing to be like only having a few spices. And I did note it when we were moving into that last person's place. That's funny. Cuz yeah, that wouldn't have been on my radar at all. I saw that their kitchen was so like equipped with like stuff that all looked like it matched and everything and this person seemed like they were very particular about having all of their like tools and equipment and they they seemed like that like they were about the things they had in their place like I am about like my computer workstation setup and recording space and all that sort of stuff just yeah having all the stuff in particular but Look. that doesn't necessarily mean they're good at cooking <laughs> yeah see this is not true of us we don't have a partner. That's true. But for some people, that's true. That is true. I want to see if it does something different when I put koala there. No, it doesn't. Okay, that's fine. Eh. 
eh, it was cute and it made. I just like that the koala made. is sort of trying to be a three shape. Oh, do you want? Did did you like that? I think it's pretty good. That's koala cute. Koala as three. Yeah. I like I like the message in support of of ethical non monogamy, but also that. Now we could do that one too. Yeah. It doesn't mean that it's necessary. In our house, this individual that we are currently playing. But yeah, yeah. Spices and not having them is weird. Especially when your kitchen is that kitted out. Like you're so into cooking and you only have salt and pepper. Yeah. Really? Really? It's see like I'm judging you, dude. Yeah, like I'm trying to trying to kind of assemble in my head my what impression that gives me of the person and their relationship to, their actual relationship to cooking uh and it seems like they bought the full set of very nice stuff that they never use mm -hmm. that they don't even know like enough about to get the full to get things to actually use i've done that with various things before so like i so i get it it's just i yeah <laughs> But in this case, lack of game, recognize lack of game. Yeah. So. We all start somewhere in, like, learning how to cook and stuff like that. And I've also, like, in my initial enthusiasm to learn a thing, definitely wanted to get all of oh. the, get oh. all kitted out. So, like, if I did For start sure. learning cooking, I would absolutely <gasps> be getting, ooh, nice. Ah. Embracing the heritage and the that, traditions. Yeah, that's moving way up from the, um. We never tried to bring that into our other, like, live, like, into our life with a. We didn't, not with our roommates, not in yeah. our university. Like, we just kind of ignored our heritage a little bit from a packing perspective. Yeah. Obviously, the individual might have, that might have been super important to them. Also true. But it didn't show up in our living space. Yeah. Good for us. Yeah. And these are the candles, I think. I'm pretty sure. Oh, this, yeah. This box? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I see candles on the... Yeah. Yeah. So it won't let me put the candles on the menorah, but I'll put them near them for now. We clearly cook. We definitely cook. Like, we cook and we bake. Because we've got a rolling pin and a bunch of cookie cutters and parchment paper and stuff. I can just open the drawer. I don't need to leave the silverware on the floor. <laughs> Sorry. I, I hadn't fully internalized what those were. Finally, like actual eating utensils instead of whatever. Strange copper glass. The glass. That's what I'm holding. Gold <laughs> spoons were. Yeah. Ooh. So one of the one of the people whose stuff I see a lot. Oh, we took their interest in coffee though. Oh, that's good. One of the people I see a lot of on YouTube is um, a British guy who lives in Germany. And he goes on and on about these, I've seen them in the States too, these leaf, like they're glass bowls that look like they're made out of leaves. Okay. They're clear glass, but the pattern of a leaf. Oh, okay. And that's what that bowl reminds me of. Oh, I see. And I think that one of these cooking pots might actually be from the set of our uh, former partner. I feel like I remember that sort of like orange coppery. We brought that. That's an instant. Oh, is that pot. one ours? That's, oh, okay. That's like a slow cooker or a pressure cooker. Yes, I guess a lot of his uh, a lot of his cookware had sort of like that coppery orange it sort was, of coloring yeah. to it, but yeah. We can throw these in the trash, actually. But spoons? Yeah. Those are big spoons. We have little spoons. Big spoon. Sometimes a big spoon could be nice for certain things. Big spoon is evil. Big spoon deserves to go away. I never realized we had such very strong opinions about slightly larger spoons. They don't fit. They don't fit in the mouth. Ah, I see. And the, the edges of the spoon touch the edges of your mouth, and that's terrible? It, well, it could be that for some people, like maybe that they have larger mouths. Terrible? It's the right size. And that the tiny spoon feels just incredibly frustrating. Can never get enough food. Incorrect. In a bite. This is incorrect. No satisfyingly sized bites of food. No one has Always that like experience. Always like trying to eat with a teaspoon. 
yes, teaspoon is the right thing to eat with. Okay, now something's wrong with you. <laughs> no! The little spoon is called a teaspoon. The big spoon is called a tablespoon. Like... Right, but if you say teaspoon and tablespoon now, that's not the first thing. People aren't going to be assuming the large and small sized eating spoons that people usually use. They're going to assume you're measuring... Some people... Some people... I would assume. Some people would know what I meant. Some people are any of you in comments. <laughs> I'm legitimately curious to know. Oh, no. Some people, please come to my defense. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave me hanging. I've gone out on a limb here. <laughs> <laughs> my reputation is at stake. <laughs> I can't be the only one with the strong opinions on the proper kinds of cutlery to use. No, so on that point, no, I actually agree. Like, there, I have certain foods and kinds of things that I want to use smaller eating spoons for and other ones mm -hmm. that I'm more like large eating spoons. And like, that I definitely have opinions on and I, I'm down for that. I was, like, uh, I was more surprised by the... Uh, like, I, I never, I've just never heard anyone refer to those as tea and tablespoons, okay. the larger so, and, like, I believe that they're probably officially called that. A teaspoon uh -huh. is a spoon you use to stir your tea, and then it became a measurement. A tablespoon is one of the spoons you put on the table to eat your food with. Gotcha. And it became a measurement. Which makes sense. But, like, it's it seems now that the designation of, like, tea and tablespoon in terms of, like, eating utensils is sort of, like, distinguishing well, between the three different sizes of fork at an intimidating meal. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you want to be prescriptivist about it, then you would be like, no, this is a teaspoon and this is a tablespoon, which is kind of what I was doing. But... Which may be technically correct. It's just not how... This, if someone... It's not how it's descriptively used any longer. Someone asked me to grab them the teaspoon out of the cupboard. That I feel like they would look at me funny if that's what I brought them. Fair. And then I would tell them, it's like, well, you know, actually... Like the the like the doctor's name is Frankenstein, and then they kick me out of the house as they should. Yeah, that's yeah. Because I think that's fair. I'm the real monster in that case. <laughs> Accurate. I'm not sure what that little jar is. It looks like a candle to me. It looks like a scented candle. You think this is a scented candle? It could be like a little honey jar or something like that, but like the little. I thought it was a honey jar. I think it probably is. It's the fact that it was with all of the other, like, uh, kitchen and type things. It just, it looks similar to, like, kind of a scented candle jar in shape. But I think contextually, I think it's more li likely a honey jar or something like that. Or jam or... Yeah. Something food-based. I'm not sure why we have coasters. We don't have any furniture worth using coasters on. It's true. Well, some of the... Okay, now, in this place, like, that table over there could... Like, that could be a cheap little wooden oh, table, or that could be a pretty old wooden table that is, no, like, no. more antique-like. Yeah, I guess that's... This whole apartment is a little bit more antique-like. <laughs> yeah. I just realized that I need to make space on the counter for the... <laughs> like, microwave and microwave. stuff. Microwave, yeah. yeah. Some of these might need to go in, I've like, cabinets mistakes. and, like... Maybe this can go in one of the drawers, huh? Maybe so. Yeah, egg timer in the drawer. Honey in the drawer? That seems weird. Can go up here. Oh, that feels right. Whatever that is, it feels like it belongs there. Right? Yeah, that... It's a little close to the sink. Could we swap the places of some of the other... Well, no, those feel those feel good being near the stove too, right? With the, like, the yeah. oil and stuff? I don't think it's close to too close to the sink. I can do that if it would make you feel it's a better. a little better. Now I can't lend the spices up good. Mm. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's... Maybe I can just put them all here. Eh, you can, you can put it closer to the sink, I think. You think? Yeah. Okay. We cook often. I'm sure we're careful. I think so. Technically, these... I want these to be lined up like so that the two are staggered between the three yeah 
that's not exactly what it looks like it's doing. No, especially since they're kind of, they look like they might be square shaped little things, which might be also why they wouldn't do that. It would still work. You could still do it in real life. We're going to pretend like that's what's happening in the game. Okay. Or else I will go nuts. I won't really go nuts, but it'll bug me. Have we used any of the cabinets yet? Mm, only the drawers. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. Had to set it. There you go. So you've got there. Okay, and cool. And got there. And the trash can. And I've got this whole row up here. I've got so much space. It's very nice. Right. Okay. Now, you should be able to put this inside that. And you can't, and that's wrong and illegal. That is true. It does feel like you should be able to stack those. Again, in real life, you totally can. Mm hmm. And should. Ooh. The spices could go like up on a top shelf. Well, yeah, what else should go on a top shelf? I want them where I can cook with them, is the thing. That makes sense. Top shelf is going to be for more commonly used. Um, like, our coffee's going to go up there. Appliances and stuff like yeah. that. I do like that, despite leaving this other partner who is not a good fit for us, we did learn an appreciation of coffee. for, like, coffee and uh, fancier ways of preparing it yeah. that we did take with us. Kettle can go in there. Mm, mixing cup might need to go in there. I don't love putting these in with the trash, but the trash is really contained. It is, but yeah, I feel similarly. That's not in real life what I would want to do either. I wonder if the game will say no to that. I mean, what else are we supposed to put down there? That's another good question. Other than like, okay, I will put the... Yeah, yeah. Sponges. Sponges. And the menorah candles down there. I feel like those may not be need to be in the kitchen even. I feel like there could be other rooms where it feels like the that stuff goes. I want to put the menorah on the table here. Yeah. Because I feel like that's a nice place for it. Maybe the spices can go on top of the microwave. No? You don't like I feel actually silly now thinking of it, but now I just want to know. Uh, Jewish people in comments is like a menorah sort of thing that is decoratively you know, like a Jewish household that you would find out just kind of like regularly, like on a shelf sort of year round, or is it something that is like oh, more like, like put away, like uh, when it's not sort of like, sort of like a more seasonal type thing that is sort of like put away in storage when it's not that time of year. I legitimately don't know, as I've just never, <laughs> like I've never had much occasion to uh, nose around like, <laughs> like a Jewish friend's house or something. Yeah. But I'm actually super curious now. That is an interesting question that I'm completely unaware of the answer of answer to myself. Yeah. I'd love to know, though. And I think we did, in the first episode, have someone in comments who was like, anything Jewish that you don't know, I'll answer it. Perfect. So, yeah. That'll be immensely helpful if you could just... Your time has come. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hear me out. Can the coffee stuff sit on the cutting board? Because we take this down to get to make coffee all the time. No, it can't. Okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. I was just curious. Can the cutting board sit on the... Nope. All right. Can't nest the flat things with the other flat things. Alas. Could the sieve bowl type thing go over sort of uh, on the sink? Oh, I guess it shouldn't live over there. Like on the drainer? Yeah. It can go in the sink itself but yeah which is also not like a great place for it to always be but i think i'm gonna have to condense my top shelf a little bit that might be yeah i honestly would keep these in the stove if it would let me yeah like that's not always the safest thing to do because not everyone knows to expect that there are pans in there but they're meant to they're meant to be able to take the heat so 
like if you happen to have a friend over who preheats the oven for you and doesn't know to expect that at least it's not the end of the world yeah the coffee bag could go down with some of the other stuff kind of on the shelf right below maybe or at least the mm. coffee bag maybe maybe not all of it but it goes with the stuff okay it it's good where it is i think this is working wish i had a better place for can this go under the sink Maybe. I could see them wanting you to keep that one up in the sink area, but... I mean... Worth a try. Look, we we only wash dishes every so often. We're not continually washing dishes. We don't need to have the supplies for washing dishes continually True. on display. Although we don't have a dishwasher, so we, in a way we are continually washing dishes. In a way, but in a way we're also not. True. Is this our roommates? Yes. Ah, look at us. Okay. All right. We definitely need to call it an episode now, though. So we will finish but, with the. Wait, how much? How much is left? Oh, we still have like our whole office and everything. So yeah, no, we should definitely call it an episode. But <laughs> we'll see y'all next week when we finish filling our giant new wonderful apartment with stuff. Yeah. Bye. Bye. But I wanted to keep going. I know we'll work on it, but afterwards.